Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I love? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence, where patrons get access to a patron-only Discord, ad-free videos, and the joy of knowing they help support this channel. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today I have an unboxing for you from Atlas Stationers. This is stuff that I got from Atlas Stationers with your help, so thank you very much for using my affiliate code. It is Ink Dependence at checkout, and it will get you 10% uh, off of your order and send a little bit of cash back my way in the form of store credit. So I used it for uh, some pins and stuff. Oh, hi, Mr. Nose. Hi, you wanna, you wanna help the unbox today? Are you gonna use your claws? No? Okay, well, I'll see you in a little bit then. All right, so let's get in here. Uh, there we go. My Tactile Knife Co. Rock Wall, which was a gift from a friend. It is a lovely knife. I do not think the Tactile Knife Co. makes these anymore, but I do really like this one. There we go. Be a little careful because I don't want to get I don't want to get too far into the packaging in case. You know, who knows what's in there? All right, uh, so here we have some nice brown paper keeping everything in check. A little card from Atlas Stationers there. That's fun and way more Christmassy than it is currently. I know it was recently just very cold over most of the country and it was here too, but now it's like 68 today. I don't know what's going on with this winter. Uh, time to plot away. Choose a plotter at Atlas in ink. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder what ink that is. They didn't say what ink it was. Uh, so, uh, man, they might have just given away some of the game here. Here's uh, well, This is a very nice pen that I, I've really been looking forward to. I'll show you that in just a minute. Let's get into this stuff first. All right, so uh, I have a plotter coming my direction. I'll probably have it in a few weeks. And um, I wanted to go ahead and just get some plotter paper to go with it because, uh, look, if I'm going to have a plotter, I might as well do plottery stuff with it, right? Like, for my plots. So I have, uh, I got the weekly schedule. This should be uh, all of 2024. This is a one week per spread. So let's get in here and see what we have. Oh, what else did I get? Uh, two millimeter grid, refill, memo pad, and a to-do list because those look like fun too. So let's see what these look like. It looks like this is just a weekly schedule. It's not going to have monthlies, uh, but I'm not really sure. So let's see what we've got. Oh, these are loose. <laughs> I should have known they'd be loose leaf. They are punched. These look like they're bound, though. Interesting. All right, so what do we got here? Yeah, yeah, these are just weeks. Okay, so I don't have a monthly spread, I guess. I'm going to have to make my own monthly spread, perhaps. What do we have here? Uh, we have an annual goals. We have a um, whole year calendar here, sort of in miniature. Uh, we have annual mission. Yeah, and then it just gets right into weeks. Okay, so I thought I got months too, but I guess I just got weeks. This does look, though, like it's going to have enough room for me to, um, to, to make plots. Let me slightly zoom in here. So on each page, you have... A week that goes all the way across the page. So this looks like it is. It has uh, times for the hours and such. If you want to block out time, and I do. It's interesting that it's vertical. I haven't used one of those before, but that seems like it'd be kind of fun. Mine are usually horizontal, but I think that's pretty cool. So, uh, or rather, the days are horizontal and the hours are vertical. That's kind of interesting. Um, so that'll be cool for plotting out uh, classes and meetings and uh, Twitch time and all that kind of stuff. Here, uh, you've also got on this side just like a bunch of empty space for each day, and that should be good for my to do's and things like this. This is a very this is like a very nice paper. I've heard that plotter paper is really good. And uh, so I'm looking forward to getting some use out of that. It does have a very faint uh, grid pattern there, like really faint, which so you can even get the camera to focus on it. Yeah, there we go. You can just barely see it, which actually works really well for me. I do like to have a little bit of structure on my pages and not just a blank page, but sometimes a full on grid just gets really uh, just gets really distracting, you know? I'm just like looking at that grid and I can't see what I wrote. I was doing some of that yesterday, actually. I was writing on some paper that was a grid and I'm like, oh, I cannot read this. There's too many grids. So a uh, nice faint grid it should be cool. All right, let me put this very carefully back where it belongs so it doesn't get uh, messed up. We will do writing uh, tests and that sort of thing on these uh, later on when I have a plotter to put them in. Then these, I think, are bound. So well, maybe they're not. I don't know, I can't tell. Can't tell. This plotter stuff is very mysterious to me. I'm not uh, too familiar with this stuff. This is the two millimeter grid, 
which seems like a very small grid, but if it's as pale as the other one, then, okay, so this is bound. Look at that, it's bound, interesting. So they bind these, but they don't bind the other. Huh, all right, well, let's try some, let's try some pen on it and see what it does. Uh, let's see, this is uh, this is a Sailor uh, Mint, um, Moroccan Mint in the Pro Gear Slim size, and it has the Moroccan Mint Tea ink in it. Yeah, it's very pleasant. Doesn't have any problems um, with, uh, you know, looks like bleeding or feathering, anything like that going on. Totally, totally handling that ink just fine. Let's see the back here. Yeah, actually, oh, that's two pages. <laughs> I was like, that's way thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, nothing, not even ghosting, really. All right, let's put something else on it. Um, uh, this right here is Robert Oster Orange, another sailor. Maybe I've gone a little sailor crazy lately. lately. I don't know, this is Robert Oster Orange in here. From a beautiful Sailor Pro Gear A mode pen that I just got recently. Yeah, it looks like it's handling this just fine. No, uh, nothing, nothing weird going on. We don't have any bleeding or feathering. Uh, I think, well, maybe at the, like the very bottom of those, the S and the B, like maybe that's a feather. I don't know. It's hard to say. I think it's probably fine and no bleed through at all. In fact, really no ghosting, even under these bright lights can't really see uh, even when I take the back page away. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is this is pretty nice. All right, I like this paper a lot. That's cool. And then let's go ahead and take a look at this to-do list. Okay, this is also bound. So interesting. They just don't bind the, the schedule stuff. All right, so this is our to-do list. It's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's a really long to-do list. All right, that's cool. Yeah, this is kind of what I was hoping for. I really like having to-do list type things. Um, I do have this other little memo pad that I got a while back. This is a uh, Midori one. And it is weirdly not great with fountain pens. Like this stuff up here isn't written in fountain pen, is it? Mm, I don't know, it might be. This might be fountain pen, but it's like a really thin one. You can see it's like it bleeds through and it's got you know all kinds of weird stuff going on. I just kind of switched to ballpoint eventually on this one because it just, every time I write with a fountain pen, it just like bleeds through, which is kind of weird for a Midori. I wasn't expecting that, but um, I do like a long to-do list. I like a thing that I can make um, lists of like, hey, what pens I got this year or paper or, you know, those kinds of things that I, I, uh, I like to accumulate uh, and keep records of and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure. So it's got mission and it's got 0, 50, 100. I think this is like a completion thing, like how, how close have I gotten to this, which could be kind of interesting. Um, I've been using a spreadsheet for all of my... Uh, my review lists and stuff like that, but this would be a good uh, good use for that as well. You know, uh, I've uh, I've written it, I've recorded it, I've edited it, and I've posted it. That could be like the the four quadrants there, and like check it off when I'm done. That's pretty neat. I think that's cool. I probably won't use it for that since I already have another system going on, but. Uh, you know, it might be that it gets used for that sometimes and sometimes it'll get used for lists of what I get this year or who knows what, but I wanted to have this kind of to-do list thing to try out and, uh, yeah, yeah, that seems, seems pretty cool and I like that it's bound. I can take it out of the plotter if I want to. All right. Um, uh, before I put all this away, Hey, if you've got a plotter, let me know what you use to punch the holes in it. I don't have a little six hole punch like this. Uh, and I'm just curious if there's one out there that y'all recommend because I definitely want to put some of my own stuff, I think in, uh, in this little... Uh, little bindery guy, and so um, I need to punch some holes because I'm gonna need gonna need probably some monthly or some uh, some monthly pages, and not just the weekly ones. So we'll see how it goes. But let me know what you use for those hole punches. All right, now let's get into this uh, this pen here. Uh, right there. <laughs> actually, it's kind of hard to flick this out because I got a paper cut right. Actually, it's not even a paper cut. I got it from a table. It's like a plastic cut or something right on the tip of my pointer finger that you'd be surprised how many things you touch with the point of your finger. And that is real annoying. All right. So here we have a sailor and it's in a big box. This is um, uh, this is a beautiful one. And I was a little bit on the fence because I hadn't seen this one in person, but then I did see it in person. And then I was like, all right, I have to, I have to spend some space books on this. So um, this right here is the Sailor Pro Gear King of Pen. I know, a second King of Pen. Wait, how do I open it? There we go, it does have a magnet. Ooh, look at that. 
Oh, fancy. So this is the Sailor Crow Gear King of Pen Moroccan Mint Tea Kassan. This is one of their limited editions. This is the third one in the tea editions, I suppose. And I actually have, where's the other one? My other King of Pen that I got a year or two ago is uh, in the Christmas tea. And then this is Moroccan Mint Tea. And this one right here is also Moroccan mint tea. So, I mean, I've got <laughs> I've got a lot of tea going on here. Also, that one, I may have gone a little into sailors recently. So this one right here is uh, the color is inspired. I'm reading from the Atlas uh, website where I got this. The color is inspired by the beautiful Kassan glasses ad adorned with exotic gold patterns, which are used to serve Moroccan mint tea. The tradition is to pour Moroccan mint tea from a height into Kassan to give the tea a pleasantly foamy texture. And this ritual sends heavenly mint aroma wafting through the air. So we have this really pretty gold trim here. This kind of, I'm going to guess it's a, I'm going to say it's a taupe kind of barrel here, uh, which I think is really, really pretty in person. A big old KOP, King of Pen nib there. These are 21 karat nibs and they are real large. Uh, here's my thumb for scale and I've got pretty big thumbs. That's a big nib on these things. Then you have that nice gold trim up here on the cap, gold furniture here, and then at the finial, <laughs> come on, you can focus camera, you can do it. It's like, no, too bright and too cool. Uh, we have this beautiful finial, which is kind of green tea green with that sailor anchor in there in this uh, in this clear finial. So really, really pretty. Inside here, we have the giant assembly that they put on these King of Pens. I mean, this, come on out. There we go. Uh, this does come out, it's just a converter, but it was really stuck in there. Also, it's kind of nice that they match this a little bit uh, because you might be able to see a little bit through the through the barrel it's slightly translucent so if they had the black one in there you might be able to see it but this assembly right here is massive and uh can make it a bit of a, a, a bear to clean out so um you can get these uh these cleaning tools i just got some uh from my friend ian let me grab one real quick all right so this is a little tool i got this from i got this from ian over at uh shown design you can see it says uh uh Oh, there we go. S-A on it. This is the sailor one. And this is actually the long one for the king of pen. Uh, and you see here it has a lure lock on the end. And what you do with that is you screw it onto the end of a common syringe like this. And then you just poke this down here, stick it on the nipple at the back of the section there. And you can just blast water through this thing to clean it, which is... Uh, really nice because otherwise it's kind of a bear to do that. These converters are really small and so cleaning it with the converter does take a really long time um, and it's got these holes in the sides so you can't just put a you know um, a little um, the bulb syringe like you put it in there it'll just like shoot water out the sides so um, it was inconvenient but this uh, thing from Ian Super helpful. Go and check that out over on his site. But this, uh, this nib is gorgeous. I love the medium nib on these. It's kind of what I went for. There really weren't <laughs> there really weren't options for the nibs. You could get it in medium or um, uh, what else? That yeah, just <laughs> you get it in medium. That was that was your choice. Maybe there was a broad or something there. But I decided the medium was big enough. Actually, I think this is a different nib than I have on my previous one. Um, a little bit. Oh, they're pretty similar pretty similar actually i thought there was more scroll work on uh the the christmas tea one but the moroccan mint looks like it's it's about the same yeah i think it's just a little bit of green in there from actually the ink that's in here i keep putting green ink in these pens uh i don't know why exactly but i really like the green coming out of the orange i don't know what whoops that's the wrong cap although that does look kind of cool <laughs> do this I like the green coming out of the orange pen. I think that's fun, but I don't know exactly what color to put in here. I'm going to have to gonna have to look through the colors I have around and see what it needs because this is a gorgeous pen. So there you go. That's my that's my little that's my little haul here from uh, Atlas Stationers. So uh, thanks very much. Atlas. Thanks very much, Atlas, for selling cool stuff and for running this affiliate program. And thank y'all for using that affiliate code so I can like spend it on really cool stuff that I would uh, otherwise be like well out of my reach. So um, thanks very much. Use that code over at Atlas to get 10% off for you and a little bit of uh, store credit for me as well. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Until then, peace out. And don't get a paper cut on the tip of your finger. It hurts.